Some highlights from the morning 18. This was Nick Dunlap at the 13th to go two up. Yeah, great chance to stretch out that lead. Nothing better than a one up lead, but two is a little bit better. Dunlap would give one back at the 16th, but would bounce back one hole later. This swinging from left to right, and he just matches up that speed perfectly. Owen Trollio would win the 18th, head the lunch, one down, but he would build on that momentum on the second, the 20th hole. This for birdie to tie things up. Yeah, huge for him to cut that margin, and now a chance to really get things going in his direction. 18-year-old from Mississippi. Four, the match is tied. Tying up the match with that birdie, but he wasn't done. How about this third at the par five fifth, the 23rd hole of this championship showdown? We're really driving it well to start out the second 18. Gives himself a great chance to attack, and attack he does. Birdie would be conceded to Trollio. He would go one up at that point in this final match, and he maintains that one up lead through 24 holes least have a chance to say par. This uh, needs to check, and it does. That is a well-placed shot right there. This gets it to scurry out, and yes, James That's did mention. Uh, like I said, across the slope as much. Well, that looks to be a better speed. Well, there's that likely concession you talked about. You could get up there to a foot and a half and put the pressure right back on your opponent. And there it is, official conceded uh, par for Trollio. Tough putt here, left to right. Five, that is a huge putt in this situation. You know, that's the kind of putt that can give you a little spark. Yeah, uh, good news is it's all back uphill. He can be aggressive, and the lie's good as well. Oh, wow, that was good. He's got a walk. He's got a swagger to him. Great putt. Uh, that's a conceded. lagging 12 footer right there. Mission <laughs> but accomplished. Good enough. Yeah, second straight Five. win for Nick Dunlap. Dunlap. Remember the Four. par save he made at the Dunlap eight. Dunlap is one up. But if he lands it short, there's a chance because it's landing into the green that it will not jump up onto the surface. Getting really lucky. It's on a good line. Great shot, bro. Great job. That is incredible. Wow. Could not hit a better shot than that, Burko. And that would be a sloppy mistake. Yeah, I was just going to say this is kind of one of those double edged swords. Can't get too crazy here. Just like Tripp said, that three and a half, four feet remaining. To his right, just a bit. And that is a monumentally huge mistake, Burko. And the way things can just turn in the wrong direction at the blink of an eye. We talked about a difficult hole location, but to make five after that tee shot, huge mistake. And now an opportunity again for Dunlap. Huge. Mr. Trollio, five. Mr. Dunlap, four. Mr. Dunlap, two up. Oh, yeah. Wow. And now it's got to hold on. All in all, that is not a terrible leave. He's going to be pretty flat coming back over to that whole location. He threw it higher than I thought, but it's going to turn out just fine. 
His short game has been remarkable and has really bailed him out of some situations. It could very well suit him very nicely here also. You see him going with a lofted club. That's just the, the style of the younger players. They usually go right to their 60. Chip, chip him like that, that I'd go right to the 62. Right there. Great touch by this young man. Impressive. All added up to five. <laughs> well, I mean, you hate to say it at this point, but this is an absolute must make. Surprising. This is exactly the kind of putts you want to have. Perfectly executed tee shot. Good putt. It's really an good excellent job. putt right there. Now he is in a big Four, trouble, Mr. big spot Dunlap of trouble. Three, Mr. Dunlap is three up. Really don't want to go past it though. Now this is right on line, just left of it. He just ran off the back edge. Just a little closer, more loft, a little more spin, the ball holds the green. If anything, it might go just a smidge right. Boy, he just cannot hit his lines at all. <laughs> a lot more stress, but you uh, <laughs> can take some break out. Doesn't really matter the next one coming back if he misses. So can take some break out and just hit it straighter. All right, two That's a good putt. Very solid stroke. Mr. Trollio, four. Mr. Dunlap, four. Mr. Dunlap remains three up. Is more in the sort of 310 range, so he's going to have to take a little something on off this to squeeze it in between those two. This is headed right. Earth cart path. And it is thick, and it is dark, and that is trouble. No, I just don't think that was the right club. And that's going to be left. Came up just a bit short there. And... Par conceded. Still has a chance to win the hole, Nick Dunlap. It would not surprise me in the least if he knocks this in. Good. That did look good. Yeah, but th th you've got one option only, and that's what he's doing, and he did. It's straight up. Now, does it stop? Wow, it does. Uh, yeah, maybe Jimmy Gallagher helped him with that shot back in Mississippi. <laughs> that was beautifully done. Let's see if he can get it to the hole. You're absolutely right. That is a superb play right there. Very well done by Nick Dunlap. Classy effort right there. This kid's short game is unbelievable. And there it is, the 17-year-old from Huntsville, Alabama, Nick Dunlap, U.S. Junior Amateur Champion. Two good friends, 
that have played a lot of golf together. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. <laughs> right, I just love this you about did the game. It, bud.